subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you a cool uh, feature in Microsoft PowerPoint where you can jazz up your PowerPoint presentations and focus on these bullet points. You know how normally you have bullet points in your PowerPoint presentation or your slides. How to make your PowerPoint presentation stand out from the rest by jazzing them up and converting those bullet points into funky looking smart art which look really professional but really modern at the same time. Now before I continue with my video, um, please I would emphasize please subscribe to my channel, please like this video, uh, please click on that bell icon to receive notifications of future uploads which I do. Moving on, so what I've got in front of you is a PowerPoint presentation open up here. This is a demonstration PowerPoint presentation just for the purpose of this video. The version of PowerPoint I'm using is um, PowerPoint 365 from the Office 365 suite. So I've got a title slide, our resolutions title slide, and I've got slide one here uh, showing you this is bullet point one, this is bullet point two, this is bullet point three. But normally you would have some information there to, to separate your bullet points out from one another, especially if you're showing a list to your audience or to, to students if you're delivering a lesson in class. So there's a cool feature called Smart Art. You can convert your text into cool looking Smart Art, which increases you know, the modernization of your PowerPoint presentation, makes your PowerPoint stand out from the others. Um, so what you need to do is highlight your bullet point list here. In this case, right click on your mouse, go down to where it says Convert to Smart Art. Now here, you've got a few options to choose from. So you've got, you can convert it to that vertical bullet list, you can convert it to that vertical um, block list, so on and so forth. You get the gist of what I'm trying to um, <clears throat> go through with you in this PowerPoint presentation. So what I'm going to do for the purpose of this video, if you hover over it, it will tell you exactly what type it is. This is a vertical picture um, accent list, um, which you can convert it to. Let's convert it to that for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to do that. At the moment, it's converted it to smart art with a default looking blue text I'm just going to make this smaller here and what I'm going to do here you can see there's a picture icon here where you can add a picture um, obviously corresponding to what bullet point that is so you click on the picture itself and it'll take you to this pop-up box here so where it asks you to insert an image I'm going to insert an icon here um, to, just to show you and that's going to be my bullet point one or whatever the corresponding bullet point is. Uh, I'm going to choose this one here and then click on insert. So I'll put a nice number one in there. Click on the picture for the second one from icon. That'll be number two. Let's choose this one this time. There we go. Actually, let's change that. Change graphic. I think that's what it was from icons. That will be number one. Yeah, let's choose that one, it's better. Here we go, and number three. Let's choose number three. Yep, I'm happy with number three. Let's choose number three, there you go. So obviously, already you can see the difference from what it was, a bullet pointed list to what it is now. So I'm just gonna add a bit more color to my presentation. Um, I'm gonna highlight the smart art again, here. Now at the top, in the smart art design um, tab at the top in the ribbon here you can change the colors from the color palette here look click on the color palette here uh, click on the arrow and you can choose a different theme to your smart art so you've got some other themes here that looks better than what it was um, you can have it so it's colorful make it like that or actually the one I prefer is this one you can change it to whatever the theme of your organization is um, so if your organization is has specific three colors you can choose those colors or you can reset the picture in, in smart art graphics here um, so if you want a different color uh, let's reset it here um, you can play around with it and choose the colors that you want so I'm going to choose, 
I'm just liking the different colours. I'm just going around and choosing, actually. Let's choose this one, just for argument's sake. Uh, yeah, I love that. Okay, now what you can do, you can take this even further. Um, you can, in the Smart Art Styles here, click on the arrow here, and you can choose shading and gradient. So um, I like this intense effect here. I can choose that. And notice already that that bullet point list is much uh, better in terms of the presentation, in terms of the way it stands out. Um, let me just add a bit of a shadowy effect actually now that ruins it. Uh, my shadowy effect does ruin it actually. Now I'm going to keep it like that. There you go. So that's my bullet pointed list already. And you can also, if you don't like this specific um, smart art, you can change it here um, in the layouts option and you can choose a different one. So that one is. A different one that looks quite good actually you can change it in this one don't like that one don't like this one don't like that one you can click on the arrow here and what it does it gives you a preview when you hover over it of what that smart art will look like um, when you change it to a different layout um, I quite like that one to be fair no. aspect ratio is not very good on that one um, let's oh, I like this there you go, that's quite good. But obviously you notice the numbers have taken, um, it's taken the numbers off here. So that's quite a nice one actually. There we go. Let me change the colours again. That's better. Isn't it? I like that. Okay. So that's just a quick and easy video showing you how you can use SmartArt, how you can improve the presentation of your PowerPoint presentation and of your simple bullet pointed list how I managed to change it to improve the way that bullet pointed list looks to help your presentation stand out from other people doing presentations to make it more eye-catching to make it more engaging for the audience who are viewing that PowerPoint presentation I hope this video has helped you I hope you've taken something away from today's presentation please like subscribe and share.